Hello, my name is Leo, and welcome to a Bethesda Softworks Presents game. We are playing Daggerfall, the Elder Scrolls Chapter 2. Daggerfall. After defeating, uh, Arena, what, uh, October? October last year? Oh yeah, it is last year now. I thought, wait a minute, you're jumping ahead, aren't you? No, it is, it is the, yeah, it's the second today, so... Um, uh, by the way, the game actually, st I checked, the game actually starts on the 4th, so no episode tomorrow, we'll start the game proper on the 4th. Uh, today is going to be a, just a character, character creation episode, where we'll explore the different the mechanics and whatnot of the character creation, which is really in depth in this game, it's amazing. You can go really immersive, it's really cool. Uh, th now there was another episode that I released, which was episode 0, which was me just reading the, um... Uh, the manual, like the the lore and story and the hierarchy of the people in charge and whatnot. Uh, now, for those people who don't really want to watch me do the um, do the character selection, uh, but uh, starting from tomorrow, we'll be in the game, like past the opening cutscenes. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the opening cutscenes first, so in case you want to watch that shit. Um, so. I guess I'll have to start a new game. I've decided this time that I'm going to be someone from High Rock. Now, I've already prepared a character, actually. Um, uh, that's right. Yeah, I've also prepared an easy way to die so I can get back to the main menu because there's no easy way to do that. Uh, anyway. So, Brayden's hail from the province of High Rock. You are part of a tall, fair-skinned people. That's very fitting. Highly intelligent and willful. Magic seems to influence the very being of the Breton people. As a race, they are more resistant to the effects of hostile magic than any other group, uh, and thus are excellent in all arcane arts. Is your character uh, to be a Breton? Yes, it is. It's also going to be a female, because that's how I roll. Um, look, I want to go. I want to go through both, like choosing your own thing, where you can you can actually create your own class. Which is what I've done. I've created a class called Leo uh, Lionkin, but then there's this cool like you can like answer some questions, and I'd also like to try that out. But for the people who just want to watch the cutscenes, I'm just gonna go ahead and pick whatever. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Yep. GG. Yep. 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 Put some, yep. Put some points in that. I'm just gonna skip to all this just so I can show you the opening cutscene. And then we'll come back and we'll explore this. Thankfully, I have a really good way of uh, killing myself. Which I didn't before, and it was pathetic. God, there's so many systems. There we go, okay. The Elder Scrolls, Chapter 2. Dagerfall, I should shut up. Yes, yeah, so you can hear it. You hear that? You turn that up a little bit. the heirs of the Septim Dynasty. Have allowed the bonds of the Empire to weaken and crack. Uriel Septim, the Seventh, cannot repair what his ancestors ignored. The provinces fight among themselves like neglected children, drunk with rebellion, and one indomitable power hides itself, but not forever. Okay, there was way more text then than he was reading. I know. Would be nice if there were subtitles. It would have been. Oh, we're at the Imperial Palace at midnight. Okay. Well, Ooh, live action. Excuse the gloom, but none may know of this meeting. Wait, are you Uriel Septim? The nature of my trouble is darker still. Hey, Emperor. Over a year ago, King Lysandus of Daggerfall died honorably on the field of battle. Wait a minute, this is from the manual. Or subject, yeah, we read this in chapter zero. And friend. I tried to do his voice anyway. Are. I did grieve for him. But his spirit does not rest. This is Agent 47 in the background with the a goatee. Army, he haunts his former kingdom, crying that for fire's revenge. weird too, by the way. It's like going backwards. I do not know why a good and loyal man would be so cursed. Why do these guys remind me of Time Lords of Perhaps Doctor Who? Perhaps you can find the answer. 
and close the marble jaws of oblivion, bringing peace to his soul. Yep, that's definitely a line from the for the manual. I ask this as your emperor and your friend. Oh well, now I have to do it. I have one lesser request. Oh yeah, I want to hear what he says. Several years I want to hear ago, how he says it's like sensitive in nature. It never arrived. He's very serious. The letter was of a sentimental and personal nature. Ah, there we go. Sexy times. And destroy that letter. Can't believe he was sending I sexy letters to his fucking like cohorts. Now my champion. Wife. Rest the well deck. this night. Bye bye, Agent 47. See ya. You sail for the kingdom of Daggerfall. Alright. Guess I'll do that then. Sure. And will that put us into the game? Yes. Alright. You wake. Oh, I got a cough. God damn it. I can't move the mic. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna have to. Just give me a moment. <sighs> Hope that doesn't pick up. Yeah, well. It's fucking cough on mine. You wake and look around the room. Some hours ago, you were in a boat en route to Daggerfall. When a, sto a storm of supernatural strength boiled over the Iliac Bay like a. Ma a what? A mal. malefic creature. Okay, sure. Your boat was destroyed, but you managed to swim through the churning water to a prom. prom. promontory rock. Prom. Mm, sure. There you found a, a cave and escaped the fury of the storm. You had only just a lit. Oh, sorry. You had only just lit a small fire when a mudslide sealed you within. You fear your fear of being buried alive calmed when you saw the corridor leading out of the co of the, of the, the cavern. Perhaps there is a way out of this cave after all. Once free of the cave, you can begin the Empress Quest. And there's a tutorial, which I guess I'll do. Yes, because this this won't be shown in the, um, when I load my game tomorrow. It's true. Not tomorrow. Good point. Uh, Tuesday? Yes. Uh, no. No, Wednesday. Wednesday's the fourth. Oh, right, right, gotcha. Uh, okay, well, the, the very first thing that you want to do is experiment with moving your character around. Don't worry about monsters. There are none in this first room. When this text clears, move your cursor around the screen. You can see change the shape, hold down the mouse, but I know how to move. Thank you. Great. Now, the, uh, the game's going to perform really shittily right now. Don't worry about that. I had to bullshit some stuff so that the cutscenes don't look like crap, but that makes the game look like shit. So when we start next time, uh, that'll be that'll be rectified. Okay. So now that we've done all that, we can now kill ourselves. And I have a convenient way of doing that. Watch this. Load the game. Speaking of that, you should turn the volume down. True that. Hey, buddy. Oh, okay. Yep. Here's something I prepared earlier. Oh, I died, and that's sending me away to the crypt. <laughs> It's really annoying that there isn't just a way to um, uh, just quit to the main menu. The only way would be to quit out of the game, which I'm pretty sure would fuck up my recording. So here we are. All right, so let's uh, try again. So uh, I'm gonna start by doing the generate generate a characters class by answering questions, even though I'm not actually gonna accept its final answer. All right. Your honest master doing a lesson on strategy remarks the best victory is to completely to and totally humiliate your opponent. He then turns to you and asks you if you agree with him. You know the honest master has been in a numerous life and death conflicts and has the experience of a seasoned warrior. Do you A. Agree with his remark knowing that at this moment your experience is not enough to justify any stance but total agreement with whatever your honest master says. A man who has dedicated his life to strategy. Makes sense. Disagree with his remark reasoning that must be some kind of test, but that the truth would only come from the opposition of his opinion. Not a sheep like agreement. I don't, I don't think so. Why did my arms last, arms last to me like that? 
Refuse to answer the question, choosing to withhold an opinion until you'll have more experience and can converse on the subject with an intelligent manner. Yeah, okay. So, I don't know about re refuse. I don't like I don't like the wording of that, but yeah, I'll, I'll abstain from an answer saying, oh, I, I could possibly ask this question, Master. Uh, I don't know anything. I guess that would make me a mage. Because I think this is a uh, thief, this is mage, and this is a uh, warrior. I know the cough again. God damn it. <laughs> Wish that would stop happening. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, guys. You are told that a young man has been caught by the village guards. You can always cut those cops out. Oh, guys, too much work. Um, and accused of murder. Apparently, his brother was killed by a group of four ruffians uh, in a local tavern, and in his grief, the young man tracked down each of them and murdered them. Upon reflection, you believe that. Wait, so let's, let's start again. A young man uh, killed a group of four people who killed his brother. Sure. The young man acted. The young man acted honorably in avenging his brother's death. The village lord should let him go free. Uh, why is B in the? Uh, it's not really formatted. Oh, even that is. Oh, that's not formatted very well, is it? Even as you sympathize with the man, the young man. Something law cannot be tolerated. Violating the law, maybe. Cannot be tolerated if there is to be peace. I have to cough again. God damn it. Can't help it. <laughs> damn it. Like, I have a mute button on the mic, but apart from the fact that it doesn't actually mute the mic, it makes bad noises, and I don't want to ear rape anyone. I'd rather, like, disgust people with my coughing. <laughs> Anyway, still getting over this damn cold. Uh, go figure out I got a cold on my fucking holiday. I know, right? The young man's like, you should drink some water. I should. I've been drinking Coke. It's probably my problem. Well, I feel like my real problem is I'm talking too much. That's true. Anyway, the young man only mistake was getting caught while exacting vengeance for that. You must accept whatever fat has in store for him. I sympathize with him, but the law, yeah, the law cannot be broken. Oh, another mage. A boat you on is suddenly caught in a tremendous whirlpool. As the current reaches an impossible velocity, the little boat begins bringing leaks and starts to sink under the vortex. You can see no way out that does not promise death. So you mean I'm going to die no matter what? Pick up a bucket and begin bailing furiously, hoping to keep the boat afloat just a few more seconds. Okay. So I'm going to die no matter what, yeah? I guess. Sit back and accept your fate, choosing to die with a sense of decorum and nobility, not as a commoner who fears the unknown. Dive into the churning current. You may be hast hastening your own death. But at least you are doing something. Huh. I don't, I don't know about A. C seems kind of stupid, so I guess I'll, I'll, I guess I'll choose B. Oh, that's a warrior. Cool. I have to cough again. <laughs> yeah, that's annoying. While in a marketplace, you witness a thief cut a purse from a noble. Even as he does so, the noble notices and calls for the city guards. In his haste to get away, the thief drops the purse near you. Surprisingly, no one sees the notice the bag of coins at your feet, do you? A. Pick up the bag and pocket it, knowing that the extra windfall will help your family in times of trouble. B. Pick up the bag and signal to the guard, knowing that uh, the only honourable thing to do is to return the money to its rightful owner. C. Leave the bag there, knowing that there is not, there is, sorry, what? Leave the bag there, knowing that it is better not to get involved. Um, I feel like I'm, I'm only going to start coughing more and more. You are. So, get ready for that. I can't, I can't stop it. This <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking horrible. Anyway, go with C, I think. 
What does what does B do? Uh, tell the guards and give it back to his rightful owner. No, fuck that. I'm, I'm not getting involved. If no one picks it up, I'll pick it up later. Yeah. Great idea. Okay. Practicing alone. Develop a new fighting style you are very excited about when you mention it to your arms master. He tells you that it would never work in practical combat. Okay. So, what am I doing? Use the new style in the middle of a class spa. When it works, you'll be forced to admit its practice practicality and give a reason to not accepting it. Yeah. Or. Um, or. Keep asking him questions about it, focusing on the details of the form. To find his objection, eventually you will have to give... You'll have to give more specific criticism. I don't know if I really want more specific criticism. Accept this word without question. Your eyes master has been fighting since your grandfather's day. He knows a flawed star when he sees it, and it's better not to waste his or your time asking why. Hmm. Well... I mean, what could hurt if I try it in, in class and I, I fail, right? They don't know what's good. And if I fail, then I look like an idiot. I don't want to keep pestering because they'll probably hate me. I'm, I'm going I'm to try it. But that makes me a thief, I guess. <laughs> don't know how that works, but whatever. Your mother is terribly ill. Oh no. And you have been sent with a few gold pieces to buy some rare medicinal herbs for her. <coughs> God. I hope that's not catching up. It's, it's probably picking up really well. <laughs> uh, as you reach the door to the apothecaries, you realize that there is a hole in your purse and all the gold has fallen out. Fuck. Enter the store, tell the apothecary your dilemma, and promise on your honor to pay him back for the herbs your mother to send us with the needs. Attempt to steal the herbs from the apothecaries. You know the old man who works at the store will not be able to catch you. You're otherwise sick. Run back home and admit the loss, hoping that your father will have more gold. You know that you'll be punished, but you will neither be in debt to the apocalypse nor be a thief. We can always get more money from the dad later. Yeah, I'll just, yeah. Well, I'm really going with the mage class, aren't I? <laughs> I guess. Although it's not, it's not just, it's not as simple as three classes. No, I know, but there's three, like, main like, areas, I guess, and whatever combination you get depends on what you, uh, uh, what, what things you get, what, uh, skills you get. Skill director, uh, class. Yeah. Anyway. A friend has, on several occasions, made remarks about how much he likes a particular gold ring of yours. One day you discover that this ring is missing, and after making a thorough search, uh, you find it in a coat your friend has left in your pantry. Are you most? Why is it in my pantry? Like, my, where my food is? What? Why? It's almost like someone planted it there. I, I, I don't think he did it. Ask Fred how he came about the ring. Uh, that it is highly probable that he found it and meant to return it to you. Okay, I think there's more. There's more missing there that we can't see. But whatever, it's fine. Um. B. Yep. Confront, confront him with his theft. You know that there was no way the ring just fell into his pocket by accident. And therefore, he has nothing but he's nothing but a common thief who should not, who would betray you for material gain. Say nothing. Deciding instead to wait and see what your friend does. If he's innocent or guilty, you will know by whatever actions he takes. At that time, you can confront him with the truth. Uh, yeah. I trust him. I, I feel like someone planned it on him. Got another mage. Damn. One day walking home, you're attacked by a young man you know from class. You defend yourself, able, ably, and knock him unconscious. While he is out, you... So he's like a guy from my class. He attacked me. Tie him up, intending to interrogate him later. When he wakes up, you want to know why he attacked you. You can then turn him into the Armaster at your leisure. Sounds good. 
slit his throat. That's a bit sick. That's a bit much, don't you think? Uh, you know him from class and think he would have done the same in your, if your positions were reversed. Still. Leave him with a visible scar. Well, that's fucked up. Um, the knowledge of his defeat at your hands and the visible reminder punishment is, pu is punishment. What? The visible. Wait, say that again. The knowledge of his defeat at your hands and the visual reminder punishment enough for one who has resorted to such dishonorable tactics. There's a. Uh, there's a word that's missing from that sentence. We're gonna go with timer. You can also rape him. Why do you want to do that? You're hunting, you're hunting in the King's Hunt, a contest in which the best hunter will win uh, win riches enough to live comfortably for the rest of his or her life. Sounds nice. You track a white stag many of you have had many of you had shot at earlier. You are alone and you examine the stag, right, and recognize the arrow as one fired from your friend's bow. As you retrieve the arrow for closer examination, you hear your friends arrive. Do you A. Claim to have fired the arrow that hit the stag, thus gaining the honor for the kill? B. Show the others the arrow and proclaim your friend as the archer of the day. C. Suggest dividing the prize, reasoning that although your friend's arrow brought it down the heart, hunt maybe, all of you were instrumental in the tracking of the kill. Now, the key to this question is that it says you will win riches enough to live comfortably for the rest of your life. In that case, fuck my friend, I will claim. <laughs> Guess that makes me a thief. Well, in town, the baker gives you a sweet roll. Oh, sweet rolls. Delighted you take it into an alley to enjoy, only to be intercepted by a gang of three other kids your age. The leader demands the sweet roll. Or else he and his friends will beat you up and take it. Drop the sweet roll and step on it. Then get ready for the fight. Give him the sweet roll now without argument. Knowing that later this afternoon. You you will have all your friends with you. And can come and take whatever he owes you. Act like you're going to give him the sweet roll. But at the last minute throw it in the air. Hoping that they'll pay attention to it long enough. For you to get a shot in at the leader. Wouldn't I just, can't I just give it to him and run away? I guess the closest that would be there. And that's another for mage, damn. Wants me to be a sorcerer, shit, well I don't really want to be a sorcerer. Sorcerers are quite adept at the manipulation of magic, although they do not generate their own magical energy, rather they absorb the energy of spells cast on them. Uh, they use this energy to power their own spells. The main sorcerer skills are, all skills of magicka, mysticism, Alteration, the thematology, which is kind of like alteration, only different. Uh, destruction, restoration, and illusion. Is your character to be a sorcerer? Fuck no. So instead we're going to make our own. It's annoying that the one that I've already made is not here. Or is it? Maybe we should look under L. Uh, no, it doesn't actually save it. That's annoying. It is. Sure is. What's this? Go away. Go away. No, go away. Crap, I don't even know what I'm looking at. I'll just pick something. Oh, I picked a minor skill, okay. So we're gonna make the class oh, oh, we're gonna make the class Lionkin, even though I've already made it. <laughs> we'll call it Lionkin too, just in case it saves or whatever and it gets confusing. So I actually forget it's like specifically what skills I gave it. <laughs> <laughs> but I'll try to remember as best as I can. My primary skills are... I want to do... I want to be really good at long blading. Whatever that is. I want to be good at destruction magic. Because I kind of want to be a, a spell sword in this game. Because in, in the first game I was uh, a knight. Specifically I chose that because... Knights could automatically uh, repair armor. Which I don't think works in this game. Um, so I'd like to, I, I, I knights don't actually get to, um, use magic, so I'd actually like to use magic. Um, I guess my last skill can be, uh, it's one of the healing ones. Restoration? Is there another, is there another thing except for restoration? Like, healing? Just straight up healing? Uh, no. 
Restoration it is. Oh god, major skills, uh, archery, backstabbing, uh, are you sure about backstabbing? Oh, maybe not. Critical strike, yep. Yeah. One more. Uh, one more. What was the last one? What's the last one? Uh, medical? Maybe. The minor skill, you're yeah, backstabbing. Um. I really don't remember the rest. Lockpicking. I think jumping was in there. Oh, wait, really? Yeah. Why not? Uh, pickpocket? No, not pickpocket. Uh, mercantile, so I can be good with uh, merchants. Which is going to be good because my skills, my uh, uh, pe uh, personality is going to be shitty. Jumping, I guess. Need two more. Um, climbing, okay, and one more. Dodging. Done. Alright, so now that we've made our, now that we've selected our skills, we can then, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not actually going to do it because it'll take too long, is you can, well actually I will, you know what I will do. You can adjust like the general default values of, can I do that faster? God, that's very slow. Of your, of your abilities. So luck, uh, I don't know if it actually tells you, it doesn't actually tell you uh but anyway, luck, speed, and personality, I basically crank down to nothing. And then I max the hell out of strength, intelligence, endurance, willpower, and agility in that order. Uh, making a very powerful uh, attacker and magic user. Which is exactly what I want. So you crank this up. I forget what the maximum is. I think it's 80. Possibly 75? 75. 75. Okay. So max that out. I think, for the most part, I'm, I'm pretty much making it identical to the one I actually made. Which I did like, f like five months ago. Five months? Sorry, two months. Well, it was, yeah, it was shortly after we finished Arena. I read the manual and then I decided to like make sure the game worked and all that shit and then uh, I ended up making a character and saving it so that I wouldn't have to do all this shit again which was funny because I'm actually literally doing it right now. That's a good point. <laughs> and then agility is the last one which I guess doesn't max itself out but that's fine. Oh right you can't do that. Right. It's gotta be even. Okay. Now this is uh... I don't think you can't adjust this. No. What this is, is, uh, the higher this is, uh, the high, the longer it is, I, I think, basically, the more experience you need to level up. And the lower it is, the less experience you need to level up. So, for example, I can give myself more hit points per level, and that makes it harder to level up. Or I can give myself less hit points, and that makes me easier to level up. The other thing you can do, which is really interesting, is you give yourself special advantages and disadvantages, and reputations. <laughs> this is very similar to uh, the uh, Game of Thrones RPG, where you can give yourself like uh, like uh, disadvantages, like uh, fear of blood or whatever. So I actually forget exactly what I did. But what's this? Uh, I want that. That gives me three times my intelligence and skill points, which is pretty good. Um, I actually forget everything that exactly I did. I'm not going to go through it now, honestly. Because it'll, yeah, it'll take too long. So let's just, let's just regenerate health while I'm in, in light, I guess. And rapid healing in dark. <laughs> yeah, I, I think I did both. Uh, expertise in long blade. Uh... Immunity to disease, because fuck diseases. Um, I think, um, um, a resistance. Oh shit, actually, you know what, I forgot. What is, uh, oh, okay, right, fair enough, sorry. 
Um. I actually forgot. This is just our immunity. Immunity to what? Paralysis? Yeah. No, I think it was re resistance to disease. That's right, yeah, because, you know, I'm pretty good at resisting diseases. Not immune to them. No. It's the cold. Yes. So resistance to dis uh, disease, yeah. So now, as you can see, because I've got all these advantages, I'm three times, almost three times as hard for me to level up. I don't think there's anything else that I wanted. Um, well, not, not, not for now. Alright, so now let's go to disadvantages and give myself some disadvantages. For example, give myself a critical weakness. I don't know why I did this, but I gave myself a critical weakness to frost. Just because I'm a lion and, you know, fire and all that. Though, that doesn't make sense. I should be, like, resistant to fire when I've already done it. Actually, go back. Ch change it. Because I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure you've done it, like, like set to set. Your original, so... Whatever, I'm not going to change it. Well, whatever, just, just do it. Shut up. <laughs> Fine. Uh, what is this? Dark to... Lower magic ability in daylight. What? I think I have one of those those things. So I made a bunch of things uh, unavailable to use, like chain. I can't use chain. I can't use leather. All these things like fix my skill advancement. Uh, I can't. No, leave all that. Uh, shield types. Um, I didn't actually mess with that, but I'm going to make axes not available, I'm going to make blunt weapons not available, I'm going to make, uh, uh, short blades not available, uh, I'm going to make, can I have a phobia of humanoids? No, that seems stupid. Um, low tolerance? What does that mean? No. Uh, inability to regen spell points. So that, 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 that's a huge jump. Yeah. And fuck that, that makes it really hard. Anything else? <laughs> so I did one of these. I think it was either Darkness Powered uh, Majory or Light Powered Majory. I forget which one it was, though. I'm going to do Darkness. Because I pretty much, like, evens it out. I feel like that's how I, that's how I had it. And then I can edit my reputations to make myself more liked for different people. I can make myself really disliked by the underworld. And make merchants and peasants like me more. Uh, why can't I level up? Uh, let's go. Oh, there you go. But are we really doing this? Um. Well, you've done too much. For real? Well, let's make. Uh. Peasants not like me so much. Uh. No, make the novella me not like me as much. Do you really want to do this? Yeah, why not? So the underworld's gotta fucking hate you. Well, that's fine, because I hate the underworld. Uh, seems like a bad idea. Alright. You can turn that down and make that even if you wanted to. Yeah, okay. Done. Okay, next. Uh, add some more questions to choose my career path. Are you most fond of using Mugblade? What, motiva 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 bleh, what motivates you into a life of adventure? Riches. Which of the following skills have you been studying the longest? Critical striking. As a child, your nickname was... None of the above? <laughs> um... Quicksilver? I don't like any of these fucking names. You were loaned and later allowed to keep... <laughs> <laughs> ah, bless me. 
A dying container! Hell yeah! What god, if any, do you worship? No, no, I'm an atheist. In this world, anyway. You have the most trouble... Uh, staying awake and alert? Kind of? Honestly? Since your childhood you have saved... A hundred gold pieces. You're friendly the most. With... Oh, okay, I can choose who I'm friendly with. Um, the nymphs, baby. Given 200 gold pieces of reward, you decided to save it. You spend any free time you have training with Longblind. You are intimate friends with a warrior. My scholar thing went up a bit more. Cool. Name yourself. Leo. Choose a face. I chose this blue head chick, so I'll be her. And then I can increase my strength some more. Crank that bitch up to maximum. Fuck yeah, that's amazingly high. That's way better than what I had last time. That's really good. And then I can add extra affinity to certain skills, like long blade, all of it into long blade. Uh, actually a critical strike. <laughs> what is medical again? Just do critical strike, okay. And for this one, huh? I don't know. Uh, Massentile. Yeah, I need to get along with the with the guys. I feel like maybe medical's better than critical strike. No, maybe that's critical strike. You sure? You know what? Yeah. Shovel on the medical. Yeah. Player reflexes determine the overall speed of the game. If you pick very high reflexes, the Monsters will move and attack quickly, forcing you to be quick with the controls. Very low reflexes mean monsters will slow lay low. Your character will advance a little slower with a low reflex setting and advance a little faster. I don't know what that means, but I'll pick average. I think we're good. Great. I've already seen that. We've already seen that. And we've already seen that. So I feel like I've just made a character that's actually better than the last one I made. Yes, please. Thank you. So let me just let me just save the game straight out. Save it as this one. And show me my character. Oh, uh, I had a blue shirt before. Ah, oh, playthrough is ruined. You've also got. Some different weapons and stuff. Shit, hang on. Also, your class is Leo Kid 2. Ah, uh, that's gonna suck. Show me my. Uh huh. Okay, I think this is the same. It's the same backstory. Okay, it's more or less the same. Big difference is, oh wow, I've got way more gold than I had before. My class is stupid. Because it's, yeah. My inventory is different. I've got like different weapons. How do you get info on them here? i got a longsword. i got a die. I got the die katana. Fuck yeah. Just, just fucking grab it. Hell yeah! <laughs> I don't think I... How many weapons are the other save? What's this? It's a spell book. Oh. Okay. Do I, do I equip it? I don't know. 
I don't have any clothes. Well, I do, I've got this, because you can take them off, right? Oh, uh, yep, yep, yes, you can. <laughs> and I don't have any ingredients. Okay, well, this this seems like a way better character than before. Let's have a look at the other character, though, while, while we're there. I'm pretty sure the skills are pretty much the same. Long grand destruction, restoration, archery, critical, medical. It law looks fairly similar. So are you particularly good with uh, nymphs? Eh, not really that much, but... Let's have let's let's save the game again. Let's have a look at our, our other character that I made, and then I'll choose which one I want. So load the game. This one's also been prepared. The eyes refers to um, I think it's like an, it's called the Eyes of Argonia mod. That if you look at my options, makes the the detail go way high, so you can see like further in the distance. So have a look at this character. So one of the vets she's got a blue shirt, which is cool. I believe her skills are the same. Ah, uh, medical was a primary. Ah, okay. I see. Ah. Well, it's, it's, it's okay. Don't worry about it. But show me my inventory. Yeah, yeah, so what do you got? Oh, I believe you got the same stuff. Iron short sword. Oh no, I've already, I've, see, I've already got a long sword here. Whereas the other one, you got it, you got yourself a Daikatana, thanks to your choices. Oh, I see. And then, I got this, whatever this is. What's this? An overview of gods and worship by Brother Hatch. Okay, why do I have this? Can I read it? Use, maybe? I guess I got this because I chose a god. Maybe I, maybe I chose a god when I did this. I, I kind of want to play as the other character now. Because <laughs> the other character is better. It starts with a freaking die container. Um, I'm going to have to think about this tomorrow. About who I actually want to play with. While we are here though, there was one last thing that I wanted to do before we finish up. So let's pick my character that just lets me die and go back to the main game. Hey buddy, what's up? Oh, you missed. Try again. There you go. Good job, buddy. Anyway, I want to skip the shit. Um, I just want to try, because I... Oh, no, no, don't do that. Uh, start a new game. Hey, rock. Just do this quickly. It doesn't actually matter. It doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter. Just, just, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm not doing the custom thing again. Fair enough. Uh, just do a small sword. Uh, yes. And then... Fast start by automatically generating your character's background. You will be able to just, uh, sorting attributes. Oh, it just does it for you. Oh. The other thing you didn't do, you didn't read the, the character bio. Oh, shit, you're right. Okay, sorry. I totally forgot to do that. Okay, now I gotta do this. It's fine, it's fine. So the game just does it for you, whereas like you get the other one, you get to choose the. And I guess the questions change because I got way more gold the second time around. You did, you fucking did. All right, great. Skip, 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 skip. <laughs> All right. Now I've just pissed the game off. All right, so load the game. Load up. Load up the original first. And I'll read its uh, profile, and then I believe I believe that's the same. Okay, so when you were very young, your parents joined a group that was moving to the outskirts of the, of the civilized area of High Rock to start a new village uh, in the Rolling Hills. Your childhood was spent helping to do the mundane and grueling work required by the Sword Avenger. The physical hardness inherited from your parents helped considerably in this regard and you developed physically at an early age. You also showed some skill at dagger fighting, which is kind of useless because I can't use daggers, uh, and spent time uh, with an elder of the village who hired you practice defensive combat techniques. Your prowess grew as your warrior skills developed, uh, supported by a ready grasp of Tanto weaponry. 
Unfortunately, you eventually found that you had reached the limit of what you could learn in the Rolling Hills. So one day you reluctantly approached your parents. After much discussion and resistance, they gradually supported your request to travel to a fighting school to continue your training. Cautiously, cautioning, cautioning, yep, you that you would have to support yourself during this time. Although sad to separate from your parents and siblings, you were excited at the prospect to see some of the fabled civilization of Tamriel. While at the fighting school, you worked after hours and various op jobs. These included guard assignments and bouncy duty at the local inn, both of which uh, additionally provided opportunities for you to polish your skills. You also became friends with a classmate named Kruskim. Stam. Yeah, when Kruskim uh, completed the training. <coughs> Lovely. Sorry, right, sorry. Right. You vowed to make regular visits to the Imperial City. However, your first trip to the Imperial City also included your first exposure to the distaste that some of the inhabitants and members of the court expressed towards someone of your physical presence and comparatively coarse manners. Your only compensation uh, for this was the ready friendship shown by many of the Imperial Guard. So I guess the higher-ups don't really like me, even though they actually do. The Imperial Guard liked me, that's cool. On your third visit to the Imperial City, you were looking for Kruthskam when one of the guards told you that a small group of mercenaries Is that the last page? Yeah. <laughs> God damn it, stop coughing. Why? God. Including screw let me let me drink some water. Yeah, yeah. Including Kruthskam had been attacked and captured by suspected supporters of the former Imperial usurper Jagathan. Without waiting for reinforcements, you set off immediately. When you finally found the rebel encampment, you hesitated because of the size of the outlaw band. You did not procrastinate for long. Uh, you used the natural cover of the woodlands to your advantage, and one by one, <coughs> just power through it. You, uh, what? You stroked your target and slit the, his throat off. Wait. One by one, you stroked your target and slit his throat with your dagger. Wow, that sounds like me in Metal Gear. Uh, it's been a nutshell. Uh, luckily, just when even you were beginning to tire, some of the captains led by Gwen Yaya Greencroft escaped their bonds and helped to finish off the remaining of the band. Your group made its way back to the Imperial City where you also enjoyed the congratulations of many of the guard, and then shortly after, you received a message from the Emperor himself. So that's the backstory for this character. Now if we switch over to this character, which I really feel like I've got to go with. You start with more gold. Stats are kind of better, really, honestly. Um, the only kind of downside is the primary skills are wrong, but it's okay. They're, they're pretty similar anyway, so it's not a big deal. Yeah, the, the only kind of dumb thing is the fact that my, my, because I put a 2 next to my fucking class name, like an idiot. Oh, you did that. I did, I did do that. You're right. So this is the same. Yeah, it's the same. Alright, I would like to get a blue shirt though. Well, I guess there's only one thing for it. Take the clothes off. Or not. Yeah, that's... Look how there's a hole there. Shut up. Anyway. Uh, Alright, we'll see you uh, on uh, Wednesday. When we start this game proper. Oh boy. Uh, but for now, my name is Leo, and I will see you... Wait. It's the first. Oh my god, it's the first of this game! Well, that's inconvenient. <laughs> what do you mean it's the first? I mean... I mean, we started yesterday. 
Are you... Um... Oh god, that's not what I was expecting. I guess tomorrow we will have an episode then. Do, do you want to still be this character? Look, this character's better. It's got better gold. It's got Dark Turner, which just, just to reiterate, does this much damage. Zero to ten. No, that's not the sword you got, by the way. Zero to fourteen. Well, where's the Dark Turner? Oh, right. 321, that's amazing, yeah. However, Dark Turner is a two-handed weapon. So no shield. So? Well, that's fine. Can you equip multiple swords? No. Hmm. I have a wagon. Really? <laughs> So it says. Alright, show me, show me, show me, well, show me the other character then. God damn it. <coughs> <coughs> this is not what I was expecting. Um. So, strength is, yeah, significantly lower. Gold is less. Uh, and. I have a short sword, which I can't even use, and an iron long sword. Um, I'm gonna, okay, I'll, I'll be back tomorrow. But we're gonna do like three days in a row. Oh, jeez. Alright, well, like I said, see you tomorrow. Well, I didn't say that before, but now I will. Yeah, see you tomorrow for a really big episode. Which is fine, because i got the day off, so I can do that. Uh, but for now, my name is Leo, and I'll see you next time.